Falcon, go SpaceX, and go NASA. Endeavor ascends a beacon be of human hit. 1.7 million pounds of thrust now propelling Falcon 9 and Crew 8. Vehicle is pitching down range. We know that Falcon 9 is throttling back up, and that one call out for one Bravo means that we are in the second and final abort mode for the first stage, continuing to get good performance from Falcon 9. Now at this Thanks point, so the crew started. are already pulling over two Gs. And with that call out, we know that that engine chill for MVAC, which is our second stage engine, has now also begun. That also means we have a couple of events that are going to happen in rapid succession. First is that chill on the MVAC engine, and then we'll have main engine cutoff, or MECO, where the nine engines on the first stage of Falcon 9 will cut off ahead of first and second stage separation. Then the Merlin vacuum engine on board the second stage will ignite and carry the crew eight astronauts to orbit, while the first stage begins its journey back to Earth. At this point in the flight, the nine Merlin stage engines are starting down. to throttle down, and we're standing there's that call out for, st for throttle down, and we're standing by, by for Miko. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back in there. Two Alpha. Copy two Alpha. So those incredible views on your screen and of course the cheering behind me means that we have had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and ignition of our MVAC engine on board stage two. We are also in two alpha for the aborts if needed. Of course, that second stage is being illuminated on the right hand side of your screen by our single Merlin vacuum engine on board stage two. Now the next milestone we're tracking is the stage one boost back burn on the left hand side of your screen. And we are expecting completion of that burn in just about 10 seconds. And so crew eight is now traveling at over 4,000 miles per hour. We're continuing to get good call outs, everything going really smoothly today. That second stage will continue firing until we reach about eight minutes into the flight. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Dragon. Good performance on the lone Merlin vacuum engine on, on the second stage. The crew's G-load dips right when we hit the separation event, and it's going to continue to build up now. Again, we just heard another call out for nominal trajectory. That was the guidance, navigation, and control officer stating nominal trajectory or everything is looking good. Dragon is pointed in the right direction, continuing its flight uphill. This second stage will continue to fire until a little over eight minutes into the flight, accelerating Dragon to more than 17,000 miles per hour and placing the crew in orbit. Right now, the crew is traveling at 4,500 miles per hour and is over 93 miles in altitude. That single Merlin vacuum engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space, and you really see it doing the heavy lifting right now. So while Crew-8 continues on its way to the International Space Station, the first stage booster is on its way back to landing Dragon zone SpaceX, one. Trajectory nominal. 
confirmation Dragon. there that the trajectory for both vehicles is looking good. Now the first stage has a couple of events itself in order to land. At T plus six minutes and 16 seconds, stage one will begin its entry burn, which will be the first of two burns prior to landing. During this burn, Falcon 9 will ignite only the center engine for about 10 seconds in order to slow the vehicle down before it reaches the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. That will be followed by the landing burn at T plus seven minutes and 21 seconds. This time we'll light three engines and the burn will last for about 20 seconds, ending just about a minute before we expect Dragon to be inserted into orbit. And so we did also hear a couple of different Dragon ground Cooper. station Dragon call outs like Bermuda. Uh, that is one of the ground Dragon. stations that we're receiving telemetry from and everything continues to look really good with the trajectory, the crew now traveling over 6,000 miles per hour. Again, this second stage will continue to light for a couple more minutes before second engine cutoff. At that point, the vehicle will coast for a few minutes before separation. It looks like we're starting to get some views of the Florida coast there on the first stage as it continues to make its way back to Earth. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Dragon. Continuing to get good call outs, everything going smoothly. Now almost seven minutes into the flight of crew eight. So the next milestone we're standing by for is stage one landing burn start. Again, as stage one approaches the space coast to touch back down at landing zone one. Stage two FTS is safe. And it is great to see that first stage back on Earth coming up. Next on the second stage is second engine cutoff. You can hear some excitement here at Hawthorne at SpaceX headquarters as that first stage successfully landed back on Earth. So second engine cutoff will take place here in just a couple of minutes. Once the lone Mer Merlin engine cuts off and stops firing, the second stage will continue to coast for about three minutes until Dragon is commanded to separate. At this point, Dragon will separate from the second stage and will fly free with crew eight still on board and in orbit. Shannon. Copy Shannon. And that call out for Shannon, indicative of Shannon, Ireland, the very last abort zone in the second down. stage. The Merlin engine is about to shut down. You just saw it there on your screen. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Dragon Hearing copy. good call outs following second stage cutoff. The crew is Watch in a nominal to, to or as expected orbit. That is that is great news. That launch escape system. And we are getting our first view of crew eight inside Endeavor. Three of them in space for the very first time. So again, we'll continue to coast for these few minutes after that second stage just shut down. This helps to allow rates and motion to settle out. There are actually small reaction thrusters on the upper part of the second stage that can be used to counteract any residual motion, basically making sure that we're in a stable coast before Dragon separates from Falcon. We expect that separation here to, to occur at about the 12 minute mark into the flight.
So again, we did hear that the crew has been successfully inserted into a good orbit. This is the crew in microgravity, three of them for the very first time, all good callouts.